<laughs> oh man. Well, um, I want all of you inbred Alabama fans to apologize. <laughs> Um, I want you, all of you clowns, you idiots that were saying Tennessee stands no chance. We're going to own you all like we've owned you all the last 15 years. I want all of you bums, you idiots, to apologize to me and to the rest of the volunteer fans. Because as it turns out, you don't own Jack Diddley squat. I thought that, I thought all that inbreeding um, that they do would make them better players, but it looks like they're not doing very well this time around with uh, Tennessee. Clearly not. Yeah, Tennessee leads out over Alabama 20-6. to There's still a whole other half to go, so I'm not going to talk trash about Bama just yet. Tennessee's though, Tennessee, though, has been doing basically everything I'd want them to and more. Joe Milton, uh, must he must have heard what I said about him last week, saying he's not the guy, because he is balling out today. Uh, just making really, really good plays. He's had his few overthrows, but that comes with Joe Milton. Everything else that you can want from him is coming, and 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 you know it's it's working out really well. Joe Milton is not he you know he's not running out of bounds when he could tank a man. He's actually going through people, uh, bringing in that shoulder and just bodying uh, these Alabama defenders. He's making big plays, throwing down the field, making big scores happen. Pretty much everything you could want from him, he's uh, he's achieving that. He is. Uh, to say the least, from from our expectations of Joe Milton going into this game, he is well over overachieving that by a significant margin. So to say that I am very impressed with Joe Milton would be an understatement. And we're doing exactly what we need to do to get the dub. Um, it, we're playing out of our mind. The defense is having a phenomenal game, just like I expected. Um, James Pierce Jr. forced that fumble, and that that along with everything else has set the tone for how this defense has been playing all all game long. Uh, Jalen Milrow just cannot get a clear pass in. He's struggling. Bama had that one big run, and then of course the touchdown play. Uh, Milrow to the uh, wide receiver, Mister, uh, you know, woman beater Jermaine Burton. But <laughs> other than that, they haven't done Jack Diddley Duda squat. And it's all thanks to the defense and a pretty good job by our offense. We've been just having a great game all around. Uh, the interception in the end zone, which could have put Bam made it a one-score game. Tennessee gets a pick, uh, you know, ruins Bama's chances of turning that around. And uh, yeah, what better way to get a pick on Jermaine Burton? Again, the the uh, the woman beater. Um, you know, that's, I don't feel sorry for him. This hits a whole lot harder when you're winning. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Vols are doing exactly what they need to do today, getting the W done. And, uh, well, there's, a, there's still a whole other half to play, so we still have a lot of time left before we uh, wrap this thing up. And uh, we just need to do it exactly what we've been doing. Tennessee, you already, Tennessee isn't one, of those game, isn't one of those teams where they uh, um, do worse in the second half, are they? Not exactly, but we you have to remember who we're playing here. Nick Saban... Yeah. Um, you know, he, he's really good about making adjustments in the first, um, you know, making adjustments going into the second half. So if Tennessee can just do what they need to do on defense, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, actually Adapt to the changes that Nick Saban you know, will make then, um, wait a minute. Is he, the, is he good at making halftime adjustments though? Because if you think about it last week, they were beating the breaks off of Arkansas in the first half and then the second half. Uh, well, Arkansas climbs all the way back and makes it a three-point game to end out the game. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if Saban doesn't um, learn from his mistakes, then then uh, yeah, we're almost guaranteed yeah. one. Yeah, I don't know. Bama, hey, Bama man, Bama man. Real quick question: Is the dynasty dead if y'all lose this game? Out of curiosity, is the dynasty dead after we lose this game? I don't know. Uh, after you lose this game, that's I don't know. You tell me. You tell me down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, I'd love to know. By the way, we're live, so jump on in and uh, you know, let me let me know about it. Well, you can't let me know about it because we're winning by two to two two scores, but uh you, you you can come in and tell me how sorry you are that you doubted ever doubted the Tennessee Vols. And you can also tell you know what, I'll just save it for I'll, I'll just save it for the end of the game. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? So I will uh I'll check in with you guys later and uh yeah, power to the Vols. That's for damn sure.